that was my first day back at work in a week. Well, that's not completely true, but last week I, I worked one day and part of another. But this time, hopefully, it'll stick. Ugh. You see, I'm not in here. I'm not 100% yet. Been coughing all night like crazy. It's a pretty slow night. Well, I don't know. We had. A video I had to shoot. <laughs> the Church in Independence. Putting out crosses the longest night. For all the murder victims. I guess on the 22nd, which is the longest night, I'll have a memorial service. And then uh, there was a house fire. Two elderly people put out of their home. Smoke inhalation. And the sad thing was they lost their four cats. So... This morning finds us here on Main Street, overlooking the uh, streetcar construction. They're um, dragging rail up from uh, 27th and Grand. So all the streets are tied up. Yeah, I still have this lousy cough, still recovering from this cold. It's a nice view north on Main Street into downtown showing all the work that's going on. Yeah, thanks to the illness, it's been about two weeks since we've really been out. You know, like, imagine I haven't gone out to have coffee in a long time, but it's too late to have coffee, and I'm having a hard enough time sleeping as it is. So... We're having a steamer. Steamer. to the Gateway 6th Grade Center Winter Concert. Uh, my name is Teacher Two-Way and I am very excited to present um, our B-Day students. Uh, before you, you can see half of the students enrolled in orchestra at Gateway. So if you think this looks like a lot of tweens in one spot, just wait until the spring concert when we put them all together. Our first song is a lullaby called Duerme que mi niño. Duerme que mi niño es un Cancion, traditional day of the night. In English, this book song translates to Sleep My Child. In this song, we learn how to play new notes on our instrument. Espero que this first es cancion.
more challenging than this. This is Canon and Pete by Papa. of gratitude to everyone who helped make tonight possible. Mr. Hirschberger is an amazing orchestra teacher, way better. He's over there. Uh, and he has helped us not only this evening, but every other day up at Gateway as well. If your child is going to Antioch next year, he will be your child's strings teacher. He's pretty great, his orchestra teacher, their orchestra teacher. I'd also like to say thank you to all of our North Kansas City teachers and admin who came out tonight to support our students. I am so pleased to say that we are in a district that values music and the arts. Thank you for always being our reporter. And lastly, thank you to all of you, the families who support our kiddos. I am so honored to share them with you. Thanks for encouraging them to practice and to turn in their practice assignments. <laughs> and now I will hand the microphone over to our final student advisor. Our last song of the evening quickly became everyone's favorite. Influence was written by an orchestra and band teacher in Maryland, Mr. Brian Baldwin. This song was written with three separate parts, and we all must play it every time and somehow figure out how all the parts fit together. We sure hope you love Influence and Mention Music. <laughs> doing it is a rainy yucky evening but at least temperature is above freezing but it's still yucky I don't know Seattle weather maybe or London weather and uh, we're just starting to get life back to somewhat normal Suyan is still homesick her voice is just starting to come back. Sounds very husky, kind of like mine. But I didn't lose my voice. And uh, so in the effort of getting back to normal, I'm gonna go get a steamer, but not at the usual place. Kind of up again it. You know, place closes at eight. that I have time to get it and uh, so yeah I'm just getting more sleep these days so I'm doing a little better on that and yeah, see if I can ah, come on see if I can make it so I got it try and make some time so I got to take the highway which I don't normally like to do and you know you got people who they see you want to make a turn and what's the saying if you can't be anything be in the way that's pretty cynical 
but uh, yeah, and there's a lot of people still driving around, <clears throat> it's way past rush hour, but a lot of people still drive around, and uh, driving pretty bad, and try and take the highway but it looks like the traffic is clogged up so maybe I won't take the highway I wonder what's going on maybe it's a nutcracker or something okay, what time is it? it's about uh, it's almost seven so rush hour should be done but uh, who knows and you know my brother-in-law would laugh at me complaining about this traffic this isn't traffic. You should see what they deal with in the Philippines. Good Lord. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I still got this crud. Nasty cough. But, uh... Yeah, I've decided I'm going to try... Um, Cafe Cafe. They close at 8. I'm going to try them at night. And see what, uh, what it's like there. What the vibe is like. If they're even open... I mean, they stay. They say they stay open till eight, but um, you never know. Might be a fool's errand. We'll see. Uh, wow, this is bright here. Nine. And try and get over without getting killed. Yeah, there's a lot of cars driving around for 7 o'clock at night. Well, I better concentrate on it and get there. So, ooh! Cafe, cafe.
Filipino Association Christmas Party. I have not had my coffee. Let's pan around and see what everybody's eating. Lots of uh, Filipino de delicacies here. Actually, I started this late. Everybody's kind of done eating. And the desserts. Mm, desserts. Aunt Sienna and I are still not 100%. Still recovering from our yuck. But, by God, you can't keep her away from her native food. Mm. What's that you're eating? That's your flan. Or whatever it is, it's delicious. I know how to make it so. Everybody's enjoying. Yum. We got an extra plate. Actually, the extra plate was for me, but uh, I got my own, so. Now we're putting our leftovers on one plate oh. for enjoyment later.
Oops. This is a dangerous stuff. Freezing mist. Very pretty though. Jelly. Everybody's chowing down. Mm.